January the 22nd, 2013 has divided Evgeny Artukin's season into two parts, before and after. Before the incident with Yanni Yalasvara took place, Artukin had been merely having an unfortunate season. After it, however, Artukin has been getting a lot of heat from both media and fans. Artukin has assaulted Dynamo's defenseman and repeatedly punched him in the eye. Yalasvara ended up in hospital as a result. Let's give Artukin a break though. Has he always been as mean and terrible as the media portrays him these days? Here's a top five for Artukin's plays in the KHL. This wasn't the first time Artukin injured an opponent. On February 20th, 2012, he injures Denis Bodrov. A little earlier, on December 4th, 2012, Artukin gives a hard time to another Spartak defenseman, Ivan Baranka. Finally, on October 8th, 2012, Red Army hosts SKA. Evgeny hits Nicholas Person, leaving him without a few teeth and a game of misconduct. October 18th, 2011, SKA plays Boris. Artukin is trying to spark some energy for his team with this fight as they're trailing behind, but he loses the fight to himself. March 1st, 2012, KHL playoffs. SKA hosts Red Army. Nikolai Pronin fights Vitaly Vishnevsky and Artukin steps in as the third man. Все настроены и будут биться от ножа и сражаться до последней капли крови, поэтому иногда эмоции перехлестывают. А что касается провокации, я советую повнимательнее посмотреть всем этим специалистам концовку эпизода и разобраться на самом деле, скажем, кто бил за справедливость, а кто поступил как подлец и трус. Больше я добавить ничего не могу. December 26, 2012. SKA plays Red Army again. Artukin gets the puck streaks into the zone, Pavel Datsuk cuts in front of him and delivers a good hit. Artukin isn't happy with Datsuk and he's yelling at Alex Radulov. None of this is necessary. And then there was this. Artukin repeatedly punches Yalasvara and the night is over for both of them. But now, the top five plays that Artukin can actually be proud of. October 12th, 2011, SKA meets Red Army. Darcy Vero is hated by pretty much every team he doesn't play for in the KHL, and Evgeny Artukin decided to teach him a lesson. It turned out pretty well. January 9th, 2012. This time it's Artukin who's being assaulted. However, he puts an end to this joke pretty fast. March 20th, 2012, SKA facing Atlanta. Evgeny Artukin delivers a huge clean check to Andrei Zubarev, the toughest defenseman on Atlanta, and he will not return to action after this. December 28th, 2011, SKA missing a few players, but they still manage to end Atlanta's winning streak. Evgeny Artukin is hero for St. Petersburg as he gets a hat trick. Instead of singling out one play for first place on this chart, how about last season as a whole for Artukin? He wasn't expected to do well, but he was phenomenal. Here's a paradox for you. This year, Artukin was expected to be tremendous again, but he failed to stand up to the hype. For the most part, it was frustration and bad luck that has been following Artukin throughout the season, not Yalasvara's check from behind that led to what we witnessed on January 22nd, 2013, one thing is certain though, Artukin knows how to play hockey, and he gets another chance to prove it tonight in the game against Dynamo Moscow.